Hey guys, it's a proud cat lover, and today I'm making this little update with Blossom because my poor baby here for the last two days, maybe. Okay, anyway, <laughs> sorry. For the last two days, he has had these um, ulcers or these sores on his lips, and it happens when his teeth like rub against his skin and cut it, and stuff or, like bacteria from like his mouth or if he's chewed on something get in there, and now he's got sores in his mouth. So, I'm going to be calling tomorrow and getting a, vo a vet appointment here in town, just because I normally go to a vet that's out of town, and I called her, and she's not going to be able to get in until Thursday of next week, and it is Friday right now. There's no way I'm going to let him suffer that long. He acts in pain. I mean, look at him. Look at his face. I'm so sorry, Blossom. He won't even clean himself. He's trying. Look at him. I feel awful that he is in pain even trying to clean himself because of the sores on his mouth. I have had to wash his mouth, like his lips and stuff, like several times. And I'm just going to aim this up because I don't want you guys to wash that. But I've had to use like a washer. I can look at that. He won't even clean himself. I feel terrible because he's in so much pain. And um, he'll only eat a certain kind of moist food. So I'm going to call tomorrow and try to get an appointment in for him really soon because I'm hoping the vet here in town will have more openings than almost a week away. So anyway, guys, I just want to do that little update. It seems like every single time I get a healthy, I mean, I get my animal back to being healthy, another one gets sick. So anyway, just be praying for my sweet boy or leave kind things, you know, whatever kind comments and stuff because I just feel so terrible for him and I can't do anything. Like, I've been trying to mix in live culture yogurt in his moist food because people said on this website I'd gone on that the, uh, I think it's aphidophilus or something like that, whatever the ingredient is in live culture yogurt, um, helps like to soothe and heal the spots. I've been even taking liquid vitamin E and rubbing them on the spots because it's supposed to, um, speed the healing process. And still it acts like it's really bothering him. And so <laughs> I'm trying to help. But I don't know if it's helping or not. So anyway, I just wanted to update you on Blossom. Also, I'll say real quick that I have no more live praying mantises. Both of my females passed away of the Chinese mantises, which I can't remember if I made a video or not. And Pegleg just died like three days ago of old age, I'm assuming, because he was fine one day and next day I wake up and he's just dead. And he had just recently eaten, so I know he didn't starve to death. And, uh, I'm waiting for the three Chinese mantises egg sacs to hatch, so we're still waiting for that. But sadly, I do not have any live praying mantises anymore, which is kind of sad. In, well, actually, it is December, I forgot. It's the first of December today, guys. I'm not used to saying that. But on the 17th, I'm going to a reptile show, or I'm hoping to go to a reptile show anyway, so that'll be cool. I'm hoping to get some new insect pets um, sadly, no scorpions or anything cool like that, because my parents are like, no way, while you live at home. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to get my own house, because I will have a lot more room. I mean, my room's pretty much taken over by my animals. Here's, you know, the rack that has the snake and my two crested gecko tanks, just because they're the huge, um, let's see, I think it's 18 by 18 by 24, or something like that, I can't remember. Um, it's been a while, and I'm just tired. And of course, you know, over here on my dresser, I've got my crest, not my crest gecko, my leopard gecko tank, and all that other stuff. And then over here, I've got the other two crested geckos. And then in the closet, I've got the cockroaches, and the crested gecko eggs, and pretty much my entire room's taken over by the cats as well, because I've got the litter box there, their cat condo, <coughs> just everything, <laughs> everywhere. The only thing I have in my room that is mine is my bed and my bookshelf, and that's it. So I'm so looking forward to getting my own house someday. But um, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this now, but just wanted to update you on my little poor baby. It's just so sad. He makes me feel terrible because I know I can't do anything about it until he gets to the vet, but I still feel awful, and I hope they give me like some like pain meds or at least some antibiotics to help take care of his infection. Hopefully none that I have to put on his face, because if it's just something he takes, like liquid, then that'll be okay. But if it's like a cream, oh man, <laughs> it better work really well, because he always is licking it off. It's like, really? Because that's what he does when I put the vitamin E on his lips, and he just licks it off. I'm like, well, I hope that helps. 
So anyway, guys, thank you for watching and have a good night. Thank you.